So today, we, we, we take it for granted that we can all watch TV, watch a movie on a smartphone, that we can check uh, our bank account balance, we can pay the rent, the mortgage, or any kind of bills, um, check the weather, we can even make new virtual friends and communicate with anyone, anywhere they might be. And for that, to do all these, we don't, we don't need much, right? We just need a decent phone and a uh, good enough signal. But if we look a few years, uh, a few years back, a few years ago, this has not always been the case. So I don't know if you are old enough to remember how a typical desk looked like 25 years ago. But um, e even if you were not born then, uh, this is this is on this picture here uh, how a uh, desk would look like in the early 80s. I really like this in illustration which uh, I made from a video created by Doug Thompson, so I didn't produce this one, uh, which really shows in a simple way how we've all been going through this uh, digital transformation over the years. So you can see all the stuff that we used to, to need to do anything. You see the dictionary, you, see, uh, you even see the white and yellow pages to find someone's phone number. Um, on the right hand side, you see a Rolodex to archive your, your business contacts and, and, and friends information. And uh, just for, for those of you who were not born uh, at this time, the roller desk is the rotating spindle that you see on the right hand side, and uh, which is basically the ancestor of LinkedIn. So, uh, so this is what a, a typical desk would look like in the early 80s. Now, 10 years, 10 years later, if we look at the same desk in 1993, you see that. Uh, We've already made some room on the desk as we now have a uh, smaller and portable computer. It's, a, yeah, it's basically a laptop. And, um, and some of the stuff that we're using has already been digitalized. You see that we're now using the Microsoft, Excel, and PowerPoint applications on this laptop, right? Now, let's look another 10 years later a little bit closer to us. That's 2006, and what you see, the, the key element on this desk now is iPhone 1. iPhone is, has been released. So at this point in time, the digital revolution is going to accelerate. Anything that can be digitalized will soon become an app, an app on a, a, a smartphone. And that's, and that's really what we've seen for the past few years. And as you know, millions of apps have been created uh, and, and are now available today, right? So if we look now at, at a desk and how it would look like today, uh, most of the things that you, we are using are apps. And, um, you know, just take a moment to look around you. And I'm looking around me, and guess what? I have a, uh, a laptop cell phone, and for the purpose of this webinar, I have a landline. But that's pretty much it, right? So the point I want to make is that what happened to the desk has also happened in the IT department and in the data center. IT went from being a uh, support function, so sometimes, so if I go back now in the, in the 80s, and talk about an IT department, you would, at the time, find an IT department uh, sometimes in the basement, in the basement of the building, or in a remote location, remote office with very old furniture. That's what IT departments were uh, years ago. And uh, at the time, the only thing we were asking IT was to support the business, make sure it's up and running for the business, right? Then the same, same, same transformation happened. And we went through a modernization phase, moving from, from physical mono-application servers to introducing new technologies such as virtualization, and, uh, and I'm sure you, you know and remember all the different kinds of clouds, from private to public and everything in the middle, all those hybrid clouds. And uh, at the same time, 
the technology improved in terms of uh, network and, and speed. You know, we went through, um, we got the, the 3G, 4G, and all those high-speed uh, internet and, and high-speed networks, right? And this was really the foundation to, to fuel or to allow this digital transformation. So at this time, IT had to align with the business. So basically, during those, those years, any IT investment um, had to have a business justification or even a business case in some, in some cases. And um, at the same time, we, we had to help IT teams cope with all the new technologies, all the new tools, all the new applications, and, uh, and all the new process processes that, uh, that also were introduced. And um, that's at the time where a lot of uh, documentations, best, practice, best practices were also published. And I'm thinking of, the, the, uh, of ITIL, the Information Technology Infrastructure Library, which the version 3 was released in 2007 which helps, uh, or helped uh, IT teams uh, align with the business. But today, like, like, like we saw for the desk, today um, we can even say that IT is now the business because most of the activities, most of um, the, the, yeah, the things that a, a business actually uh, perform is based on applications, is based on, on IT, which means that today IT is the business. And if we agree that uh, IT is the business today, today, we need to agree that an IT issue is also or has become a business uh, issue. So I'd like you to think about your daily activities and, and see which one totally rely on IT services, which one, which of the activities that you have to do to do your job today are done uh, on a computer or on a smartphone? And I, I guess you're going to find that uh, that's a lot. A lot of activities are done through, um, through apps and applications. 